Hey Virgo, welcome to my third channel, my Virgo only channel. My name is Chelsea. In this reading, we're going to find out what are the major changes coming your way. Today is the 24th of July, 2024. Time here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia is 10.30 a.m. Virgo, I'm giving away a free personal reading once a week for a lucky winner. To enter, hit like, subscribe, and comment below. I love Virgo. If you have commented before, you can do it again. It will increase your chance in winning. And winners will be announced on the community page weekly. Now, Virgo, the reason why I'm doing this reading, it's because the Wheel of Fortune has been coming up a lot in a lot of your readings. So that means something big is changing in your life. But anyways, let's uh, find out, okay? Spirits and angels, please show me what are the major changes that are coming um, Virgo's way. <laughs> if you want a more accurate reading, you can book me. All info is below. Don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe. King of Cups. King of Cups is the king of love, so some of you has something to do with love. I'm also seeing money here um, with the Three of Pentacles as the first card. Virgo, Three of Pentacles is fixing something or work in progress so for some of you whatever you've been working on you're going to see like a big change either it's you finally done or mm, or it could also mean that finally you're going to have um, some sort of a, a team you're going to be working with people instead of working by yourself the eight of swords that's just for some of you okay just stay what resonates i feel like this reading is going to have like a different sporadic messages, messages where it's not going to resonate from, you know, the beginning to the end. The Knight of Swords could signify that this change or these changes are coming your way very, very quickly. Eight of Swords, even if you don't want it to change that quickly, it, it feels like the universe is going to force their hands on you or force your hand <laughs> i'm so bad with using um how do you say I i'm so bad of bad with remembering sayings but you get you get it just right virgo but anyways because the nada source is so fast it's moving so quickly some of you just can't help it you have to move quickly something might make you or any events in your life might push you to making these changes very quickly there's a sense of urgency here with the not of swords now the reason why i feel like for some of you, you may want to kind of like delay it and don't want to make it don't want it to happen that quickly it possibly may have something to do with you like analyzing it or over analyzing it or or having fear of these changes because if you look at this card this person is stuck but it's not it's by will because the feet are not bound so you can walk you can change if you want to but because of fear or maybe because you overanalyze you might try to delay it so for some of you Virgo it might take a longer time for these changes to happen um, and for some of you you might you maybe you have to wait uh, because it's not the decision that you can make on your own perhaps you need to wait for an answer from this person that person or some sort of uh, of an approval but the two of wands indicates a choice right these major changes or oh, for some of it's just one major change that's coming your way um is your choice if you want to make it happen if you want to make these changes or not because Nine of Cups is actually a very contented energy, but it's in reverse. 
perhaps for some of you to make these changes, it will be you needing to get out of your comfort zone and perhaps working with different people or working with a different environment. Now, when it comes to love, Virgo, a major change would be somebody falling in love with you or you falling in love with somebody. Now, it's not without, how would I say, challenges, because Three of Pentacles could mean maybe for some of you, this is somebody you need to work with, compromise. Um, and whatever sorts of partnerships, okay, we all have to compromise. Friendship, relationships, um, work relationships, we have to compromise. So there's something about these changes where you will have to compromise with people or compromise with yourself or within yourself. Um, and now the King of Cups is somebody who, whom is very steady with their emotions or they like to control their emotions, but it could also be spirits worth saying that these major changes are coming your way, but you have you will have to control your emotions. Sometimes if we were to say, I mean, just imagine if we were to say whatever we want to say that comes to our mind, I think it would cause a lot of chaos, okay, or drama. So there's something about you, uh, these changes, it could be within yourself where you feel like, okay, next time, before I say something or before I act a certain way, I need to make sure I get a hold of my emotions first before I say it. Because again, the Nine of Swords can be very impulsive. But on the other hand, Virgo, if you are the Virgos who like to keep things to yourself and don't really verbalize what you're thinking, how you're feeling, and if it is detrimental to your emotional health or your being um, overall, then maybe the changes would be you finally speaking up for yourself, finally standing up for yourself. Now the two wands this person is holding, what do you call this little globe here? Some of you, your major change, one of one, one of the major changes may not be for all of you, but something about expansion, something about the world, may have something to do with the world or internet, travel, or future, okay? A change where I feel that is going to impact your future um, significantly. We've got the Seven of Cups and Reverse. At the end of the day, Virgo, these major changes, um, it's, it's up to you, it's a choice. If you want to do it now, or if you want to do it later, or some of you, maybe you don't want to do it at all. We all have free will, right? Two of Wands indicates a choice. Again, we all have free will. If you want to make something happen, we can, but sometimes our fear or overanalyzing uh, minds <laughs> might uh, deter us from making these changes or making these choices. Got a Ten of Swords in love verse. Now number 10 is completion. It's a completion number. It's in reverse. So again, some of you might take longer, some of you might take, it might happen very, very quickly. But I think these changes involve you needing to release something, right? And you might have to get out of your comfort zone. And the strength here is in reverse. Strength is like supposed to be, you know, it means strength being strong but then when it's in reverse some of you may feel like i'm maybe i'm not financially strong enough to make these changes or maybe deep down i'm not emotionally ready or my mind might i'm just not ready yet so there could be some fear associated to these changes perhaps you're not sure if your wish is going to be fulfilled if you make these changes will it actually happen the way you want it to or six of ones in reverse, will it be successful or not? So again, there is this contemplation that I'm seeing here. Some of you, it's this contemplation whether to, again, uh, reconcile with somebody, whether the reconciliation involves uh, a, rom a romantic connection or work connection, family, friendship, will of fortune. See, didn't I mention will of fortune? 
the Wheel of Fortune has been coming out a lot in so many of your readings. So this is why I got the idea, like, let's find out, you know, what are the changes that are coming your way. Now we've got the Empress. Empress is your energy, Virgo. Um, the Empress indicates abundance. For some of you, the change would be, should I get pregnant or should I get pregnant again? Should I adopt a child or not? Um, should I settle down? Because she's very subtle, right? The Empress, she's the Mother Earth. You can see she's sitting down. So many of the changes would be your diet. Um, major changes. Either you're going to start a new diet or you're going to see changes in your weight whether it's more or less, or changes in your muscle mass, if you're somebody who works out. Hmm. Or it may have something to do with your mother, or you becoming a mother, or a father, it doesn't matter. It's not gender specific. Now, we've also got the high priestess here. You know, three of pentacles could mean marriage too. Some of you, one of your major, one of the major changes that are coming your way would be you thinking about marrying someone or someone thinking about marrying you. I know this is not for everybody. It's just for some of you. Will fortune in reverse. Let's stick it out together. That's what I'm hearing as well. Let's stick it out together. Let's, um, let's get married or let's move in together or let's take the connection to the next level or let's go for counseling to try and fix things. Um, it could be for some of you, okay? High persist sometimes... I read it as like education as well because she has a lot of information. She's holding a scroll here. So it could mean education. Some of your major change uh, would be, one of the major changes would be you learning something new or going back or going to um, study, uni, graduation, graduating. I'm hearing interning. Some of you are going to be interning or trying to get a job, uh, applying for your job, for a job. For those of you Virgos, um, different group of you, okay? Let's just see a bit more, Virgo. Nato one, seven of pentacles. So maybe a big change would be you meeting someone, okay, in the future, where I feel like even though both of you are very different from each other, these two right here, the three of pentacles, it's not, it's not, um, how would I say three of pentacles, if both of you have the same understanding and work together, try to work together through all of the differences, it could change for the better, okay? And not a cups in one verse, some of the change would be like, hey, Virgo, you, you're not doing this alone anymore, or you're gonna, or should I say that you're, whatever you're gonna be doing in your life, whether it's romantically or career, or it could be anything, family, friends, but, you're not going to be doing it alone. It feels like you're going to have a company or a group of people um, whom are going to be w working with you or supporting you. Could be mentally, emotionally, uh, or monetarily. Through a source of verse, big change will be like everything is healing. Things are healing. Or there will be a lot of uh, healing connections or people who will make you feel healed or people you're going to try to heal with or they're going to try to heal with you. Knight of Wands, passion. This is a very passionate driven card, but it could also be an indi individual fire sign. Some of you, you, your this major change that's coming your way, it's you again making that decision to choose, you know, between two people or two companies, two businesses, Two friends, um, <laughs> that's something about a choice here, right? Seven of Pentacles. It may also have something to do with investments, especially if you've been, um, say, for example, if you've been investing on shares, um, you might see a major change in the share market. So something that you need to keep an eye on, whether it's going to go all the way up or very down, but at least, you know, if this is your story, you get a heads up and you keep an eye on it. Um, well, if it's going to go down, then sell it. If it's going to really, really go up, it's up to you if you want to sell it or you want to, you know, let it continue. But 
I feel like best not to be greedy. Okay, Virgo. Now the Empress indicates abundance as well. It could mean changes in your money. Now investment may also mean that you've been investing your time in a project. You've been investing your time in looking for a job, a new job, a transition. Um, that is happening. If that's happening right now, you might see some results where it could lead to you needing to make that decision if you want to go for it or not or who you're going to choose what you're going to choose okay i said i feel like for a lot of you Virgo, this is going to happen very very quickly and for those of you if it doesn't happen quickly it's because you're stalling it's because you are overthinking it and you don't feel like as though you can do it or that you don't you feel like it's you're not sure if it's going to turn out the way you want it to be okay but ultimately I, I can't actually tell you what to choose it's your life and use your better judgment um, and also this a general reading if you want a more accurate reading you can book me all infos below and it's just going to be for you and you alone and not for the generals okay and the ten of swords among first it involves releasing and choosing to go for something else or someone else okay virgo this is your reading hope it serves you well don't forget to hit like share and subscribe and subscribe anyways it's free especially if you've been here with especially if you've been here before and also especially if you want to get all of the updates you guys know i post your videos very very frequently and i mentioned the time and the date in the beginning of every reading so you know that they are fresh as we all know things are constantly changing friends people feelings romantic connections they change so this is your one-stop channel where you can get all of the updates every single day all right um and virgo don't forget to hit on the bell notification button so you'll be notified every time when i post your videos i do have two other channels subscribe to them chelsea love tarot which is my main channel and you can go uh, over there if you want to catch me live and also on my uh, my third channel uh, this is my third my second channel is my ch uh, travel vlog channel if you guys would like to check out my travel vlog channel that's actually my fun channel i enjoy i enjoy uh working on that channel as well but anyways take care virgo i hope to see you back here again soon i love you bye